What's up guys, my name is Cornelius Robinson and this is Overshoot. In my last video, I finished up the schematic. In this video, I'm starting the PCB layout, so let's get into it. So I made this silk screen template so I could tell where to place all the components. I really like these seven segment display footprints. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to use them in your own Flex project. Next I'm placing the LEDs in the battery indicator. It's a bit tedious, but it'll be worth it. In the Z rotation object rule, you can enter a specific angle, but you can use it to make calculations. I'm using an equation to calculate the angle, so I don't have to do the math for each LED. This made the process so much easier. Next, I placed the microcontroller, which was a bit tricky because of the holes, but we made it work. Most of the components on this board are surface mount. After that was finished, I started placing the rest of the components. Most of them are on the back. You can do that by right clicking and selecting flip layer or by typing L on the keyboard. Boop. When placing or routing on the bottom layer, you can select this button up here to flip the board. And now we can see everything on the back. It's important to keep these capacitors near the IC for keeping the uh, power constant. last thing I needed to do was place the 5 volt E fuse, which I talked about in my last video. It is super helpful. And that's about it for placement. I do have a few stray components which I'll deal with, but I think that's just a bug. Anyway, I think this is starting to look pretty good. In the next video, I'll start routing all the traces, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs>